everybody, what's going on? Your host, AMF1534, here. Welcome back to Let's Closing Out This Stupid-Ass Endurance Race right here on Gran Turismo 2. So, what's going on today? I, uh... I'm almost done being sick. And I, I mean, I'm like, I'm mentally done with being sick. I'm, I actually am never really mentally into being sick. Unless it's a day, unless it's like a time where I just, I fucking really don't want to work. Then I don't mind being sick, but that doesn't really happen really ever. I haven't really had that happen since I was like 15, so... I'm just like, oh man, I really wish I was sick right now, because I don't want to work. But, I think it's because I fucking grew up a little bit, maybe it's like, eh, you know, if I don't go to work, I'm not going to make any money, and then if I don't have any money, I'm not going to be able to buy any pointless shit for my life that I don't need, so, you know what, maybe I do want to go to work today, but... I'm, I'm coughing a little bit, but that's not really so bad, and, you know, my nose is still plugged up a little bit, but it's not so bad. So, I mean, at least, you, like, you guys hearing my voice, it probably sounds a lot better than it did yesterday, so, you know. But, um, uh, you know, to translate this shit back into the game, we are in the last, well, five and a half minutes of this race, and then everything will be all hunky-dory, so... That's pretty awesome. At least that's what I'm assuming. I, I still don't... I mean, I've already I've already voiced this opinion enough times because I've never actually done the research on this, but I'm just assuming that this race is just gonna end <laughs> at the two-hour mark, so whatever. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it doesn't. You know what? <coughs> oh, God, I hate coughing. If there's one thing I don't like, it's it's coughing. Especially when you do it enough times, like, over the course of a day to where it just starts giving you, like, a raging headache. I had that happen yesterday, and it was just, it was not good. It just wasn't. But, uh, I hung out with my cousin last night. Dude, she is so fucking cool. I'm just throwing that out there. She is so fucking cool. She is one of my favorite people in the world. Like, we both, we're both really fucking weird. I mean, you guys already know how weird I am, but... She brings out a very weird side of me, and it's awesome because, you know, I can just act like a fucking idiot in her presence, and it's cool like that. So we went to Taco Bell last night at like 1.30 in the morning. She was over here hanging out, and we fucking, uh, we put, we go into the drive-thru, and uh, I was like, I was like, well, what do you want? And she was like, she's like, oh, don't worry about it. Let me, let me, uh, let me roll down my window and I'll ask. And she's like, excuse me, sir. Could I please get a beefy five layer burrito, please? And I was just like, what the fuck are you doing? And he's just like, and the guy's just like, uh, yeah, cool beans. He's just like, how can I please get those beans refried, please? <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, he's gonna totally spit in our food. <clears throat> and then uh, he's <clears throat> he's like, is there anything else I can do for you guys? Like, well, sir. If I could please have two burritos of the bean kind with extra cheese. Because apparently they don't, I mean, they'll just do that. I mean, I've actually never asked for a bean burrito with extra cheese in it, but I did. And they did it, and it was fucking awesome. But they do make you pay more for it. And I was like, and could I also have two tacos that are not hard? I almost wanted to say flaccid, but I was like, no, I feel like he's not going to know what flaccid tacos are. You know, soft, like a penis, da 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 da. He's like, could I please get two tacos of the not hard variety? And he's like, uh, yeah, sure. And then, uh, so he, like, gives us our total and whatever, and we, and, uh, we drive up to the window, and then I fucking roll down my window to give him my money, and then I realized that I knew who this guy was. Like, it was, like, one of my friends that's worked there for, like, eight years. Totally never even picked up on that at all. And the first thing he did was he looked into the back seat where uh, where uh, she was sitting, where my cousin was sitting, because my brother was with us too, and he was just fucking dying laughing in the other seat. And he just like looks over at her and like, please tell me that's not what your real voice sounds like. And it was really, it was fucking awesome. And he gave us some extra stuff for free too, so that was pretty cool. But, um... I went out to the uh, I went to the liquor store last night and I bought this this vodka and it's a uh, it's by Three Olives and it's called Loopy and I swear to God, dude, it is one of the best tasting vodkas I've ever had in my life. It fucking tastes like Fruit Loops and or like Fruity Pebbles and it like it tastes just like 
an alcoholic version of that. And it's, okay, I'm actually, I'm going to have some right now. I have some right here. It's so good. And I bought, uh, I bought a bottle of Fireball, and they gave me a free shot glass with it. It's like a Fireball-sponsored shot glass. And there's like, it's like a collector series, too. Like, it's, uh, oh, baby, baby, baby. It's like a collector series thing where, you know, they have eight shot glasses, and they all spell out Fireball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can you guys smell it? Mmm, smells good. It's like alcoholic breakfast. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I don't really know what that whole, like, weird-ass, like, raping clown noise was like that I did with that. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you in the ass! But, uh, oh, dude, it's so awesome. Like... Like, if you were, if, if I were, like, you know, blind, and I have never had, like, you know, alcohol before, and, you, like, I don't know, you just gave that to me, I would have thought that it was just, like, a really spicy bowl of, like, fruity pebbles with no milk, or actual physical fruity pebbles. But that's, I mean, that's just the first thing I think of. So it's awesome. That's pretty much what it comes down to. But... Yeah, so any of you guys that are that are of age to drink, because I don't advocate teenage drinking, because teen drinking is very bad. You guys remember that? I'm trying to remember what the, that guy's name. I think his name was Jaquan, the guy that made the tip, that did the tipsy song. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. That that one. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. That that whole thing. I, and the funny thing is I just went on that little rant about teen drinking when my cousin is definitely not of age, but whatever. It's all good. I mean, she was in the sanctity of my home, and I was watching over her, so it's fine. It's not like I, you know, like, hey, have a couple of shots and then just go out for a drive. You know what I'm saying? We are not going to quite even get to 90 laps, son of a bitch. So is it going to end right now? Nope, it's not going to end right now. I guess we're actually going to do all 99 laps. I mean, I guess that puts that whole thing to bed right there, so... Maybe we won't actually... Well, you know what? I'm going to finish this... I'm going to finish this out anyways, because I, I told you that we were going to do that both at the end of last episode and at the beginning of this one, so... It's going to be a longer episode than what I was planning on, but you know what? I really, really want to be done with this race. I am so tired of it. I feel like I've been doing it for like 30 years, even though I haven't, but, you know, who's to know? Maybe I have been. So, I was uh, I was perusing through Netflix the other night, and uh, I was going through like the horror movie section, and they had a movie in there, and it was called Haunting in Silver Falls, and uh, Silver Falls is actually, like, right here in Oregon. It's, uh, it's actually not very far away from where I live, it's like Silver Falls... I'm pretty sure it's in Silverton, and that's, I have actually, I have family that lives there, and, uh, I told my cousin about this last night, and she's like, she's like, wait, are you serious? It's on Netflix? I was like, well, yeah. Oh, here we go. Sweet! So it's the lap that you finish after the two-hour mark. Okay, that's awesome. I won by 59 seconds! Yeah! Oh my god, 49 laps? We, oh, I feel so bad for him. But at the same time, I don't, because he was driving a Jaguar. And Jaguars are for faggots. Faggots. No, seriously, though. I, I don't want anybody to get upset about the whole, you know, me saying... Faggot means a bundle of sticks, okay? I know there's a much worse thing that goes along with that, but it means a bundle of sticks, for God's sakes. So don't worry about it. It's not, it's not a huge deal. Hey, Tennessee's going to maybe score. Hey, three hundred thousand dollars! You would think they would give us more money for that, but you know what? I'm okay with it. Hey, we got a new car! Yay! It's the first time we've got a new car for something in a long time. But back to the story. So, oh, come on! He did not catch it. So, apparently, um, after I told her about this, ooh, it's a rally car. Sick. That would have been nice to have had a while ago. I think somebody actually told me about this a while back. They told me. Um, that you can actually get that car uh, via that race. So she was telling me that she like she knows a whole bunch of people that were in that movie because you know they did a casting call out there for it, 
And so, like, there were a bunch of her friends that were in that movie, and then they had, like, a post, like, filming party that they threw at the Silver, Silver Falls Lake or whatever that's right there. And she couldn't, she couldn't go to the party because she got grounded. I was like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's like the biggest bummer in the world. <coughs> oh my god, that was so painful. I apologize if that was really loud. But you guys kind of saw it coming. Okay, so, now that we have that done. I don't have a whole lot of time because the Ducks game is on in about an hour and a half. And I have to, I have to... Uh, render this and a new episode of Max Payne that I just made a little bit earlier today. So what we can do, there's actually no race for Acuras. That's, that's kind of weird. But then again, I think Acura was actually part of um, fucking Honda. Yeah, because we already did the, the Honda NSX shit, and that's where Acura would have been. So what do we have here? We already did that one. Okay, I remember that. I remember the Corvette meeting. Um, what about Plymouth? Can we do anything for Plymouth? There is nothing for Plymouth. Okay, that's fine. Vector... Nope, Vector doesn't... It. Wow! Holy shit! That thing is... That thing is a, has a really long body. Okay, so nothing there. What about Ford? What do we have for Ford? The Ford Ka! Well, sure, why not? Let's let's get ourselves a Ford Ka. Putting the car in the garage. We don't have one of these, do we? I don't think that we do. I thought that we did, but I don't I don't think that we actually have one. Ooh, I kinda like that green. That looks like the ducks helmets that they have today. They're like this awesome ass metallic green. Super pumped for it. And I'm feeling pretty awesome about it too, because we just got three hundred thousand dollars, so now I can go dump a bunch of useless shit in here, and it's gonna feel great! Oh, yeah, 64 horsepower. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So what is this, turbo? Yep. All right. Ooh, yeah. It's This car is so fast that it only has two stages of turbo kits. The way I see it, we'll do one race on this. I still want to, you know, have some progress done today, so... The way I see it, we'll, uh, we'll have finished out the endurance race and... We're also going to get the, uh, at least part of the Ka challenge out of the way. Is that even how you say it? Like, I almost feel like there's a different way of saying it, but it's, I don't know. It's, it's like too blatant. I mean, it's only two letters. Like, how many ways could you possibly say it? Oh, yeah. Of course they'd give us the long version of this race, too. Like, seriously, we're driving a car with barely 150 horsepower. Is it just me, or does, like, the back of this car kind of look like a smiley face? Like, just look at it really hard for a second. Like, it's a very awkward smiley face, but the two taillights are the eyes, obviously. And then, like, the little emblem thing back there is the nose. And then the weird, awkward black bumper is the face, is, like, the smiley face. And it's just, like, it's almost like a, I don't know, it's it's a really awkward smiley face. Like, mm, look at me! Okay, so what's what's this all about? God, this is gonna be so long. Actually, maybe not. Maybe it won't be so bad. Come on, come on. There we go. Get around the corner. <clears throat> I'm super excited today, though. My dad, uh, my dad decided he was gonna make his uh, Super Bowl chili for the Ducks game today, even though it's probably one of the worst games of the year. I mean, Oregon's playing Colorado. Colorado is still one of the worst teams out there, but at the same time, and it used to be, it, like it used to be too, that the only time he ever made his chili was for the Super Bowl, like that was the one occasion of the year that he did it, but now it's it's at the point where, you know, he's, he's doing it more often now, which is fucking awesome, because his chili is ridiculous, and I'm, I'm fucking pumped for it, I mean, obviously Oregon's gonna beat Colorado by they, they could easily, they could beat them by 50. I think they might actually beat them by 50. Like, I think that the game is probably going to be, like, it could be on the upside of, like, 69 to 7. Possibly. Not sure, but very realistically, that could happen. And so, at least, you know, because after a while, the game's going to get kind of, oh, well, you know, they scored again. Fucking awesome. But, you know. So at least I'll have, you know, some chili that I can eat. 
And because he make, he likes to make it just a little bit spicy, I'm going to try to put like some extra chili powder in it, because I'm going to try to open up my sinuses a little. And uh, consequently, not only will it open up my sinuses, it's probably going to make my asshole just turn into like liquid fire. It's going to be the Witch's Cauldron of utter fire and destruction for my toilet bowl and my insides. Come on, come on, there we go. Here's the one benefit of really slow-ass cars. These things can turn on a dime. Almost. A very large dime. Which would also just be a quarter. But here we go. Hey, Tennessee only got a field goal out of that, and they were on the fucking two-yard line. Good job, you douches. Okay, here we go. It was trying so hard to get around that corner. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, realistically, this car has, like, the same amount of horsepower that my my Honda has. Maybe even more, because I don't even think that my Honda has that much horsepower. I mean, a 93 Honda Accord obviously isn't going to have very much. Ugh. There we go. We are the victors! <laughs> Did you hear that? The weird, like, song, like, the song had, like, a weird, like, note in it. Alright guys, well we have won! We won two things in a row! Yes! And we got $3,000. So now we can save, even though we don't really need to do it this way because I can just use a save state, but we've had problems that occurred before from me doing that. So, we're gonna actually save it on the memory card just in case we have something go horribly wrong. Pick him off! Pick him off! Oh, God. Oh! Yikes! Fucking A, dude. That guy got... He, that guy catches the ball, and he runs straight into the defender, and the guy gets, gets fucking upended, and he lands on his head. That's always... Oh! That's fucking scary. It's super awesome, though, because it reminds me of, uh, of NFL Blitz, you know, the arcade game, where people just get fucking killed, and it's awesome. Alright guys, well, we've run out of time for this episode, but when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo 2, we're going to finish up the racing edition portion of the car race, and then we'll move on to something else. So until then, this is your host AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching, and go Ducks! See you later. Bye.